I would like to welcome our guests from different countries around the world and from all over Nigeria to this year's AfriCast. This is the 12th edition of our biennial conference and exhibition of African broadcasters. The fact that our gathering has remained a major event on the international calendar is owed to the commitment of all our partners who ensure that we can gather here every two years to enjoy the intellectually engaging interrogations as well as the exhibition of the cutting edge technology that make our industry so dynamic. Yesterday night, I went around the various stands as our colleagues put up their operations in preparation for today. And as usual, I was struck by the level of commitment of all our partners to the continued growth of this event. AfriCast is certainly testimony to the vision of the founding fathers of the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, and the undying belief and support of our partners from all over the world. If we see Father today, it is because we stand on the shoulders of giants. I would like to thank all those who conceptualized AfriCast, those who have grown it as a conference and exhibition event, and all those who have kept it going against all odds. That we are gathered for the 12th edition starting today is testimony to how far we have come. The theme of the 12th edition of AfriCast is the dynamics of broadcasting in the digital era. I think the choice of theme is very apt as it reflects the context which is increasingly determining the ambience of broadcasting development, either in the technical technological experience or in the surface of content that is becoming available to consumers of broadcasting all over the African continent. In Nigeria, the new dynamics associated with digital broadcasting opened in 2016 with the launch of the pilot phase of digital broadcasting in Jos Plateau State. Like a toe dipped tentatively into a body of water, the experience has enriched Nigerian broadcasting in a profound manner. And it was that initial step and the lessons drawn therefrom that emboldened us at the NBC to take the experience to six states around Nigeria, from Jos, the FCT, Kwara, Kaduna, Enugu, and Oshun states. We have brought the digital television experience to approximately 25.4 million people in those states with about 3.7 million television homes. The Nigerian broadcasting, digital broadcasting experience has allowed us to unfurl an architecture that has enriched us in knowledge and experience. We now know better how to bring all the components of the digital switchover together to achieve the remarkable broadcasting experience that will become the total experience of all Nigerians very soon. NBC as regulator and driver of the whole process, Digiteam Nigeria, the implementation platform, our signal distributors, ITS and Pinnacle Communications Limited, set-top box manufacturers, and several other service providers. The rich variety of programming choices, as well as the possibilities which the set-top boxes being produced in Nigeria would open up to all our compatriots, are some of the reasons that justify the investment that the Nigerian government has made and continues to make into the digital broadcasting experience. Moving forward, I would like to inform this august gathering that our work with the Nigerian process of migration from analog to digital broadcasting is about to get a major shot in the arm. We have finally completed work on a digital mapping of the entire Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is a major part of any transition process because with that, the signal distributors can more confidently roll out transmission facilities with a sure knowledge of the topography and points of location of transmission systems. We would also be able to map out the population centers that will facilitate access to most television homes. 
it will also become easier to work out a very realistic rate card pricing to be charged by broad to be charged broadcasters by the signal distributors similarly we have all but concluded an elaborate rollout timetable and a consequent timeline for analog switch off aso for the entire country the corollary to that is that our authorized set-top box manufacturers can then begin to work to produce enough boxes for our 32.5 million television homes. I want to assure you that the National Broadcasting Commission and its DSO partners will soon present this national timetable to the Nigerian people. And related to what we are doing with the timetable, is a pilot project we are working on to launch very soon pilot push VOD video on demand platforms in Abuja and Kaduna as part of efforts to enhance and enrich the viewing experiences associated with digital broadcasting. It will be a platform for Nollywood and Kanywood to pull the plug, pull the rug from the feet of pirates. The Africa's experience is a very rich one. Over the next three days, We'll have daily sessions of master classes, seven discussion panels that leverage upon the experiences on some of the leading lights of broadcasting in the industry and academia. Then we have the finale, the gala and recognitions award night. That would be a feast of culture, as well as a recognition of some of the individuals who have helped to create and nurture Nigeria's broadcasting culture over the decades. Finally, I want to thank the NBC team that has worked so hard to put together this 12th edition of AfriCast. We have always been proud of the competence and the experience of our staff at the NBC. That is what has been put at your disposal with the gathering here. I want to thank the NBC board, chairman of the board of the NBC, Alhaji Ikra Ali Bilbis,